spline editing in AutoCAD 2010 has been much enhanced. One of the things you can do now with a spline in AutoCAD is convert it to a polyline. Let's have a look at that. Now what you'll notice is all of these are just standard splines. As you can see there's the control points indicated by the grips on the spline. These two on the right hand side are also the same. They're just basic splines that have been drawn using the AutoCAD spline command. Let's work with the top left spline. I'm going to double click on it. It takes me into spline edit. Now what I've got here, I've got various options. I've got the fit data, close, move vertex, refine, reverse we've already covered, but there's convert to polyline. So let's have a look at converting this particular spline to a polyline. If I click, it asks for a precision. Now you've got a precision in AutoCAD 2010 of 0 to 99. If you go up to 99, that's obviously the most accurate and gives you lots of small segments and grips. I'm not going to go to that level of accuracy, I'm just going to stick with the default of 10 there and press enter. Now what you'll find now is that is not a spline anymore. If I click on it, you'll see now it is actually a polyline made up of lots of small segments and that's just with an accuracy of 10. Imagine how many small segments there would be if I'd gone to 99. Now the benefit of that is, is if I actually just hit escape there and zoom in on this end of the spline and click on it, you can see I've got a grip there. If I click there and drag, look, I can actually stretch that part of the spline using my grips because it's now not a spline anymore. It's a polyline. If I click on that, right click and go to properties, it will actually tell me it's a polyline there, as you can see on the properties palette. So let's close the properties palette and hit escape. So that's how I convert a spline to a polyline. Now I can also use polyline edit and select a spline and edit it as well. Let's use the top right one here. If I just type PE for polyline edit and press enter, you'd think that I could only select polylines. I can also select a spline. So let's click on that spline, like so. Do I want to turn it into a polyline? Yes I do. So I press enter. That has now converted the spline to the polyline, just like in the previous example, but using the polyline edit command. So if I now press enter there to confirm my precision, I'm now in polyline edit mode. If I press enter again to come out of that, and just click on that, you'll see, look, there's all the grips again. It's converted to a polyline. If I click on that grip there and stretch out, you can see now that I'm stretching that polyline using the grips. Now what you've also got is two options on what you convert the actual spline into. You can convert it into linear segments or arcs when it converts to a polyline. Now it's quite a long variable name that you've got to remember. It is actually P-line convert mode. P-L-I-N-E and then convert mode like so. So remember that P-line convert mode. Press enter. At the moment the value is zero so it will convert it to linear segments line segments. So what I'm going to do there is leave that at zero and press enter. I'm going to convert this particular spline here into a polyline. So I'm going to type PE, enter, select my spline. Do I want to turn it into one? Yes I do. Precision, I'm going to go with 10 again. Press enter, enter to confirm the edit. If I click on it now, click on the grip and drag, you can see that they are line segments that that particular spline has been converted into when it's converted into a polyline. So let's change that now and go P-line convert mode again and press enter. This time I'll set it to 1 which is actually arcs. Let's polyline edit again and select the spline here. Do I want to turn it into one? Yes I do. I press enter. Precision 10 again press enter and enter to close polyline edit. Let's just zoom in a little bit now on the end of that new polyline. Click there, click on a grip, look what happens. It comes out as an arc. So the polyline now has been converted into arc segments using the P-line convert mode variable. So as you can see there, splines are now so much easier to edit and convert into polylines. That's a new feature of AutoCAD 2010.